So the first thing you want to do is to import your logo onto your timeline over here. So next I'll select my logo and adjust the duration of my logo to fit the duration of my video clip. Otherwise, if I move my playhead, my logo won't be revealed at some portions of my clip. So I'll drag this logo to the entire position of my clip and move over to effects control and make sure that the motion arrow is dropped down. And now I can adjust the scale value, reduce it. I can use the position value over here to move it to any corner of the screen I want it to stay. But what if my logo has a background? For example, I have a logo here that has a white background, Premiere Pro logo. All you need to do is to go over to the effects tab and search for the color key effect. And drag this color key effect onto your logo over here. So let me adjust this to the entire duration also. Now if I select this, let me increase the scale so you can see this clearer. All you need to do is to select this color picker and select the color you want to key out. So I'll select white. And as you can see, it has automatically taken out the white. But you can still see a little white over here. So all you need to do is to increase the tolerance value here and it's going to take out every single white over here. But what if you also have a logo that has a black background? Let's also try it on a black background. So I'll come over to this double arrow and come back to my project panel and drag this other logo here that has a black background. So go over to the effects tab and search for the color key effect and drag this color key effect onto your logo. So select the color picker once more and select the black color over here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to increase the value for the color tolerance over here. And as you can see, it has automatically taken out on the black from that logo and I can move the location of this logo and maybe probably take it to any position I want. Another thing you can also do is to adjust the value of edge thin and edge feather to make the logo smoother. 